Hello and welcome back to our page. Um, I'm going to show you how to clean my own pair of very grubby chucker boots. I wore them out and got caught in a rainstorm near the beach so they're pretty in a bad, bad state. So what you will need is a pan of boiling water or a handheld steamer which we prefer but for this purpose we're going to use an ordinary household kettle, some suede restorer, a brush, some old rags, uh, a suede brush which is rubber on one side and fine bristles on the other side and then in the on the side of it uh, a rubber icing which I used to get into the welts and some cream to restore the edges of the soles. In here I have a pair of shoe trees whilst they've been drying out so the first thing that I do is take out the laces and just put those to one side. I do renew the laces quite often on uh, shoes and boots. It gives them uh, a new lease of life. So with your, your bristle side of the brush, just give this a good brush. All over. And then this, um, the bristles as well, right into the into the welts, where all the dust and, in this case, sand has probably gathered. And you'll find that there will be some some stubborn bits on this. The rubber side is also very good. I've been quite liberal with these; they're reasonably old, um, just to get all that surface stuff off. And then we'll do the other one. I will back later on as well. I do wear uh, suede chucker boots an awful lot. They're a great kind of a uh, casual wear weekend fix. Very comfortable. And then I'll show you uh, very quickly, we'll let this kettle boil, just how the steam will revive the nap of the suede. And we'll show you that in just a minute. So if you can boil your kettle and place your boot, and excuse the beeping, it's a kettle that beeps, over the um, steam and let the steam get into the nap. Carefully you don't burn yourself and don't make a cup of tea afterwards you'll find that the steam will just help raise all that nap and renew. Steam is hotter than boiling water. The one drawback of this is that it does discolour the edges of the sole, but a um, pan of boiling water is much better because you've got a continuous boil rather than having to do this or a handheld steamer even better. But for this purpose, that's all we have. And you want to brush the nap the wrong way, get all any loose dirt out of the way. And whilst you won't see where the laces have been, I'm just going to give those a quick revive as well. So already that's looking better. 
but we're going to put some dressing around the edges now and put the trees back in and we'll show you again and just underneath the sole because it was very wet leather uh, does want feeding this wants some uh, cream underneath on the soles as well so now you'll need to um, dress the edges of your um, of your boots and be very careful not to get this onto the suede because that doesn't come off or onto a cream carpet which I'm famous for so I've got a cloth down and then just rub this polish this is a renovating cream from Sophia but we've also got one here from Barker's uh, because the Sophia one's running out and just very gently rub that into the edges of the sole just let it take the dye spin it round I'm sorry if we just cut that a little bit a customer came in and, and that's what we are primarily we're a, a men's clothing store and shoes we do um, custom tailoring or make to measure handmade and half canvassed um, and customers come first so apologies for that so just continuing going round this sole carefully and then you're going to need an old toothbrush to get right into the welts delicately so an old toothbrush that's something i missed uh, from the beginning of the video just very gently into those welts trying to avoid the edges of the suede but it will bring your, sh your boot to look something approaching you know as it would have left the factory a bit newer and then I like to do certainly this um, waist of the shoe as they call it this bit these soles have been very wet and they would benefit from some some kind of leather food just to uh, re-nourish them put some polish here in the waist and underneath that heel you know what I'm just gonna give it a quick do over because this is a renovating a renovating cream <laughs> cream carpets I can see a divorce coming on if you uh, don't let this dry and walk across it I've been there so you need to let this dry out but I'm not gonna wear these for uh, some time I just want to give that some uh, protection and some food So we're gonna let that go to dry, and then we're going to just singe them and spray them with a with a brown suede protector, Newbrook protector, and we'll show you them against the uncleaned one. So with a lighter, I'm just gonna pass that over some of these longer hairs that we've brushed up in the pile, we'll just singe them back. I'm doing this very quickly. And then we'll go to uh, spraying them. So this is a suede and Newbrook protector. This is actually a brown colored one. So again, be careful of cream carpets and over spray. And I'm gonna spray that liberally. And that will turn the rain, spill drinks. Uh, really is brilliant stuff. Should have actually kept the laces out to do that, but. well ventilated area which is why we're outside but that will do us that's enough so we've just sprayed the boot and now the polish that we've um, put around the edges needs to be just gently brushed off with a horsehair brush and you'll see now the shine coming to the edges just through the, the sole, something they always do in the army is polish through the waist of the 
shoes. I'm just going over the sole. And then I'm going to put the trees uh, back into the boots. This is a shoe tree. Ideally, you'd use a boot tree that has a, an ankle section. And there we are, just give it a quick touch where it needs it. And if I bring the other uh, boot in, take away this cloth now. Remember this one, I've brushed all the debris off, but there's a, there's a bit of a difference in terms of the edges you know, that's looking rather sorry for itself and that's looking more like a presentable boot these are quite old and i have worn them an awful lot and i've worn them uh, on the beach and all the places i shouldn't have done but things are for wearing and for enjoying i believe that we should wear the clothes they shouldn't wear us and certainly true with these but they do need looking after i hope that's helpful very quick you could spend a lot more time, but that's a quick maintenance job. And the reason why we've done this today is because we're going to now film these boots with rolled up chinos for our website. Thank you.